Welcome to F2F. <laughs> have the one and only Natasha Koplinski on the net. How are you, Natasha? I'm doing all right. I'd just like to remind people that they must email us on f2f at talktv.co.uk or join the chat room and have a chat to me while Sasha's gabbling on. All right, wonderful. It's totally unaffected by that. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, live in the studio, we also have Telephone Twister. We also have a, the man who invented all these bizarre little things. He used to be a satellite designer. He is the one and only Vincent Jones. And down for the moment, that's cool. One little thing I forgot to tell you is like, when there's a lot, can I do a kitchen bag? Yes. Say a few words yeah. in the microphone. I will say, we'll <laughs> say a few words in the microphone. Yeah, so what you hear, what you hear for? Do you lean back in your mouth? Oh, oh sit how far back. Okay. Anyway, this is yeah. a sewer change. Even more. Testing one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, fantastic. A little bit more, a little bit more. Can we have a kind of, ooh, can we have a little, ooh, 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 ooh. can we have that, one, two, three? Ooh, 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 ooh. Kind of like, ooh, ooh, you know, something a little bit close here, ooh, ooh, yeah. And uh, a little poo as well, a little poo. Ooh. Okay, excellent, and uh, can we have a little word for the day? Bonka. What do you say? Wonka. Bonka. Bonka, what does bonka mean? <laughs> Anything else apart from bonka? We must feed the fish. Oh, there are real fish in there. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so can I start over here and then move over to there? Is that going to be cool? You look really comfortable with that, Sash. Why has it got the overhead light on it? Where am I starting? Where am I sitting? So I start with the audience or Okay. Yo, how my fly got the better out of here, man, because all the pigs and the cops are after me. Hi. Okay, welcome back to F2F live here in the studio. The day is Monday. The 9th of uh, February. Is it February? 10th. 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 Is it the 10th? Yeah, Always one for detail here on F2F, the most live show that we don't even know what day it is. The 10th of March, really. Yeah. Time is going very quickly. It's been March been good for you. Well, not really. My sister's birthday is today. <coughs> she what? My sister's birthday is today. Yeah. She's How old five. is she? She's five. Good luck to her. Bit of a round of applause for the sister. Well done to your mother for giving birth to her. Now, uh, later in the programme, we shall be launching into our debate. Should 10-year-olds be held responsible for their crimes? Give us a call on 0190 82 55 88. You can also phone to take part in today's phone-in quiz, which is Telephone Twister. Now, if you didn't catch the rules, don't worry, because this competition requires no skill or intelligence whatsoever. What do you think of that? Excellent. Excellent. The so number is 0190 82 55 Two Fat Ladies 88. Now... What do you do when you finish using your computer? Do you make sure that your files are saved, logged off, unplug it, and give your mouse mat a cheeky little dusting? Or do you smash it to pieces, tear it to shreds, rip its insides out, and make interesting things with all the little bits? Today's face-to-face -face guest does just that, and he's here to explain why. So let's wiggle our joysticks for Mr. Vincent Joe Ness. Come over here, come over here. And this is the first time we're using a handheld kind of proper camera on the show. Vincent, how are you, mate? Fine, fine, mate. All right. Um, very good use of the word mate there. You sound almost well, English. Where I'm, are you I'm from? Originally, uh, Chicago and Boston. All right, and how long have you been over in England? Uh, about three and a half years. Okay, and what are you doing here? Well, right now I'm uh, working as an artist. Uh, I was originally brought over here to do an art science project for Wembley yep. High School where we take junk and, as you say, smash it and trash it and yeah. take it out of the skips and turn it into futuristic artifacts or... How do you, you make see, sure that it's junk and it's not like kind of your mother's favourite kind of old sort of high five? What's or, the difference? There's no difference. <laughs> so basically you're encouraging people at home to just go into the living room if you sort of... if you hate your if dad's you high five, <laughs> smash it up and go, Dad, check out what I made of your high five, yeah? It's called product enhancement. Okay, great. Yeah. 
You're going to be very, very popular. <laughs> so what kind of things have you made? What's this over here? Well, this is a functional television. It looks yeah. like it's something uh, from the future, yeah. a city. But it's actually a functional TV. Unfortunately, in the studio here, we can't receive the, um, yeah. the, the picture. But you can see as the camera pans uh, across it, uh, some of the moving parts are... So what, are these moving parts actually doing anything, or are they...? Well, some of them are just... Okay. Some of them are kinetic, as this piece here, okay. I'll stop it. It used to be a CD player that used to be uh, uh, a part of a slinky. Yeah. It's an old uh, prism, an earring, and when it spins, it gives a special effect, so it's reflecting light. All right, and where do you get all these things from? Is it just sort of general theft, or...? Uh, well, no, that's not a good idea. Yeah. But uh, any old junk, anything, uh, old toys, old radios, TVs, anything that's uh, non-functional, a lot of skips. All right. Uh, really, cool. very good place to get junk from is from a TV repair shop. Yeah. Because in the back, they always have something that they never use. It's all right, what there. else have you got? Take us through what well, these sort of things are. Well, here. here we have a piece of wood that was cut out. You notice the uh, oh, product placement, Coca-Cola, sorry. Okay, thank uh, you. Clearly sponsored by them. <laughs> yeah. We have a piece of wood, some old bottle caps, some figurines, yeah. uh, some parts out of a VCR. A, a, let me stop this motor. Yeah. Yeah, see a part of an old earring. When yep. it spins, it gives an optical illusion. And what is Very this? Light. This is a radio now? or uh, This piece, no, this isn't a radio. This is sort of represents jazz players singing. So okay, and what's the... Piece. There's a little kind of thing. Can we have a little oh. look in there with the camera? See the counter? That's what's the counter, counter That's do? a tape counter from a uh, uh, VCR. And what does that signify? It's uh, The, the no. passage of time? Yeah, the free, the free form it. style? Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. All right, slightly stereotyped pictures of Jasmine? Uh, you might say that. Okay, <laughs> good. And what have you got over here? What's well, that what we have here yeah. is a UFO service station. Okay. This here is, if you Very look at the top useful. here with the camera, see my hands going around? That's yeah. an old car speaker. Here's an earring. This is the top from an old chandelier piece of plastic. You see, uh, in America, we have what are called Christmas tree bubble lights. When yeah. this is turned on. Now, this might interfere with the mic, so okay, you okay. static in the background. I'll turn this on, it'll slowly start to spin. Okay, especially and if you push it. And as it spins, it. they all glow in the dark, but you can't see that with the UV light. Now, if you look here as well, it's also a functional radio. Okay, and it's the kind of thing that's kind of very, very small. You won't even notice this it's in your room. So they're all kind of functional as well, yeah? Is Most that of them the idea? are functional or semi-functional in some way. We have, like, the baseball... All right, I'm getting it. I'm getting, can you switch it off now? Because it destroyed the whole system. Okay. Oh, it's still on. You've actually switched it off. Can, I, can you ever smash these up and kind of make them into other things Well, it is the art of recycling, yeah. Yeah. So, so do you ever, like, take hold of your thing and go, all right, I've had enough of this now, I'm going to whack it to pieces? No, I don't, but I've had people come down to me, like, uh, yeah. where I'm at, uh, down at Stables Market, they come yeah. and they bring stuff to the door. Cool. And they say, gee, I got this last week and I dropped it, can I replace it? All right. Why not? All right, fine. Now, Natasha, what have you got for us? Well, I've got the very things on the web, but I don't think you're going to be very impressed with them. Can I just ask you, why did you start doing it, and who buys these things? Well, uh, who buys them? Anyone who's interested in art. I've had... Uh, People just off the street who purchases. I've had various celebrities from Star Trek, uh, uh, Doctor Who, um, etc. It's it's something that appeals to some people, not to all people. All right. Now in Brighton, Brighton, can you hear me? Brighton, are you ringing? You ringing from the cyber bar? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like maybe being creative there, trashing it up and kind of creating something of worth? Well, it cost a bit too much. Really? I mean, how much would something like this cost? Well, they can go anywhere from. Uh, Two or three hundred quid up. All right, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the one and only Vincent Joe and S. Any relation to Vincent Van Gogh? No.